So the hay ring feeder has been lifted. So there's a huge pile of hay for the horses and the alpaca to get at. Oreo Bloom and her son, Moonshadow, are waiting for the new bale to come, which I'm gonna put here. And then there will be a new electric fence across here. So this is uh, winter bale grazing with horses. So, whoop, they're all having a bit of a tiff about who gets to have access to the hay. So Miss Daisy Rose is with the big girls now and Marco Polo. So everybody kind of shares this hay eating facilities. And then if, when the weather turns bad, they'll all go into the shed together. Well, not together together, but, but soon the shed's gonna be for the sheep and the horses will have to go into stables and the alpaca will have to go into another stables. So this is uh, the winter regime now. The hay is also that's left over is also good for, look at, look at grasshoppers pawing at the hay to get the best bits, but it all becomes fed into the ground after a while. So we don't have to worry about fertilizer. The hay is actually part of feeding the soil long term. Miss Daisy is having a lovely time getting right into the middle of all the hay. Saying, woohoo, I can reach it now. All this yummy hay. I can pick and choose the best bits. That's exactly what she's doing. Picking, picking and choosing the sweetest bits. Going yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. These other ones are waiting for this electric fence to be lifted up so that they can come into this section when I get the new bale in. Job done. Electric fence moved. They're gonna eat this grass first. And they've got this round bale. And everybody's having a bit of a munch. Sun's not shone, shone at all today. Gray, dreary, typical Irish winter day. The air is so moist. It's great for one's skin complexion, but no rain has fallen. So these are all fine and dandy. Having a good old graze. Puppers, no, you two. There's no herding of horses now, okay? Behave. So they're all in good form, having a lovely time munching the hay. Or rather, sorry, the grass. They'll probably, that nettle patch, they might dig at the nettles and pull up the roots and eat them. Horses love eating nettle roots in winter because they're so full of rich vitamins and minerals. Because nettles grow where the richest soil is. Okay, job done for the weekend. They've got their hay supply and they don't need to come in because the weather's gonna be great over the next number of days. No rain, dry and mild. Getting chilly, I think, by Monday. Look at that, right into the hedgerow to eat the diversity that's there. Self-medicating horses. And this is lovely hay for when they've done munching on all the other stuff. And Brindle says, lovely and comfortable here. So that's where they were. And once they finish this length from there all the way up here, we're gonna have 
one more bale of hay up there, then this section will be cut off from all animals for the rest of the winter. And so all of this will decompose into the soil and grow back in the spring.